What's up, guys? You're welcome back. Thanks a lot for the visit. This empire has been trending for a long while. You know, those that are beneficiary, their money has been hanging and it has been kind of, give us our money. How do we do to get our money? Some have been paid, some have not been paid. There are a lot of things happening in this uh, empire. So a lot of people are commenting. We should just give them updates. So we decided to just do this kind of update. But the update we are doing now is that uh, we heard and we saw some people registering for the new empire. We're not talking about the old ones now. We're talking about the new ones. So let's just see now how it is. So we're talking about the new stream. So this is the the website. The link is in the description below. We don't know how authentic this is, but it looks authentic. Or it looks as if this is real. Me. I will avail myself of this opportunity to fill it because the last one I was saying is a scam and I really paid dearly for it because some of my friends registered and they were paid, then me, I wasn't paid. So anytime I hear about Empire starting, man, I'm very curious. So but this website looks kind of kind of legit, it looks kind of real. You can see up front there, you see Ministry of uh, Humanitarian Affairs disaster management and social development is highlighted up here you know up here both you know so you now see registration for empire 2023 is open submit stable citizens across the nation are invited to apply for the empire 2023 exercise applicant must be a nigerian must be at least 18 years you know the rest, the rest. So now let's just get you with it. Let's see how to register. So now you will see the first one. Now you say put in a valid email. Now I want to validate email. To be to tell you now, this email I put in is not a real email. It's not a real. It's, it's a dormant email. Email is not working. So I just wanted to check the the, the authenticity of this. So this name is a pseudo name. Ikik.com. This phone number is the correct number, but the ending I put a digit that is not correct, as in a digit that I don't know. So at this number, mm, it's not it's a pseudo number. Mail, yeah, mail address uh Sokoto. I stay over here in Sokoto. Then local government Sokoto South. Then address again I put in Sokoto. Then date of birth. The person they said the person must be at least 18 years of uh, age. So um, let me put 2000 and 2000 and something something. So this this form to to just a disclaimer this form is not authentic. Uh, everything I put here is to to dice. If there's any word like that, anything I put here is not real. It's just for the benefit of this video and to check the authenticity of this form. So that is it. We we'll put the date of birth 2000 next degree 2019 I think or 16 2019. Okay, then. This school, let me put Sokoto State University. You know, let me put Sokoto State University. That is what I'm putting. Good. We're moving ahead. I put continue. Then validate international passport. This international passport. Number is, I, I don't know any number that is like that. A one two three. A one two three two. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. Then uploading of document. I just go to. I just let me upload that Empire logo. Yes. Then let me upload Nigerian logo. Yes, another Nigerian logo. Yes. So this is the procedure, how it is done, but this form is not real. So you see the ik.com, ik, the email, the phone number, date of birth, state, address, this, everything that we just feel, then we submit. You say, you sure you want to submit? Yeah, I'm sure. Success, you know, good, good. So this is it. This is it. So finish registering finish registering but what is really appalling what i can you see they've given nia number they've given a empire number you know but what is really puzzling me is why do we have to pay 1200 for exam eh? why it's just what is giving me concern now you take the test and good and this is supposed to be federal government something or now you are you are going to take the test and you are going to pay online and you are going to not even online you are going to, because anything that federal government does uses remitter now you are going to pay you are going to pay into paypal account this is the paypal account you know nine one three two whatever no so for me i don't subscribe to anybody filling this form 
because if you come to think of it, those that have filled before, they have not been paid. Most of them have not been paid. So any news, any need filling it. And if federal government is giving something, why using PayPal to pay instead of remitter? Paying 1000 too. So even if this is authentic, I have my reservations. Why using PayPal? This looks like a personal PayPal. This is a phone number. This is a personal phone number. So guys, well, I think we'll track this phone number because this is a PayPal account. This is a personal phone number. We'll track this phone number, record the call, and give you updates. Because this 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 fraud cannot just for me, I don't know. I don't know how authentic it is, but this looks too 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 pedestrian. You know, that's personal phone number and this is a federal government something. If I if there's payment, it should be done through remitter. So guys, I'm off now anyway. See you on our next videos, guys. Peace out, guys. One love. If you wish to apply, apply, but for me, it's not authentic. It's not authentic enough. Bye. We'll keep you updated. We'll reach that number and give you updates. Bye for now. Peace out. Remain safe. I'm out.